Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> and in this series, we're going to be going over Pluto in the houses, okay? Pluto in the houses. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the 10th house. So having Pluto in your 10th house. And before we get into that, just like to remind you guys, if you want to book a reading with me, you certainly can. All you have to do is email me at samastroreadings at gmail.com. That's samastroreadings at gmail.com. And we could go forward with that. I do astrology readings as well as tarot. <clears throat> so getting back into Pluto in the 10th house. And the first thing I can say about Pluto in the 10th house is that there is obstacles and trauma when it comes to the structure in your life, okay? Because when we talk about the 10th house, the 10th house is about your structure, okay? The 10th house isn't just like your career, but it's like your plan in life, how you're going to build and sustain your life, your big plan, like the blueprint, how you structure and, and build, okay? And, and in order to build and have a career and go by your plan, you got to be disciplined, you got to work, and you have to have this structure, okay? And all of that is going to create structure in your life. But when you have Pluto here in the 10th house, it's interrupting that. It's giving obstacles. It's giving trauma. It's giving you emotional obstacles. Okay. And this can look like, you know, being raised in a family where there's not a lot of structure. Maybe the father's not in the home. Maybe the there there's financial issues. Okay. Issues with money. All things that deal with stability. You got to understand 10th house is practical. It deals with money. It deals with you know, building, it deals with the physical reality, okay? So we do all of this to make money, to sustain ourselves, to be stable. But with Pluto here, it's challenging it. And a lot of people can have trauma even with their lives. You know, this can deal with poverty. This can deal with, you know, a family that doesn't have enough money or struggles with money. Um, and or, you know, the parents are in and out, so there's no stability, okay? Um, these types of things, you know, um, pressures in your life, it causes trauma because you're like, damn, there's no structure. Like, every time I try to reach this, it's like issues and I'm just feeling depressed about it. But this is all to motivate you, honestly, because what all this trauma does to a lot of Pluto and Seth House people is they get really upset and obsessive with, taking back their power when it comes to structure so they're going to want a career they're going to want money they're going to want stability they're going to want a nice home a stable home and be able to pay for their their belongings their possessions they're going to want that physical reality which is very 10th house okay that's why 10th house rules your career and your career makes you so much money because they want structure and they had so much trauma with the structure so it, yes, you can have trauma with the structure, but it's builds character, okay? So, again, these people, Pluto and 10th house people, they take that seriously. They want a career. They want money. They want success. They want structure. And they're going to work hard for it because they've seen how much pain they've had to go through dealing with no structure. So, um, that's the beauty of Pluto. Pluto is all about transformation. So, yes, it really um, penetrates you in the like negative way, but it's to motivate you to do better. But, yes, definitely with Pluto in 10th house, structure can definitely be a trauma in your life. It could be a struggle with your life. Um, things such as possessions, money, um, establishment, consistency with your physical reality, a career. But this is all going to train you and motivate you to be, one, very obsessive with your career because trauma is emotional. And when you're able to flip it, which is, you know, Pluto is all about transformation, it makes you, it turns it around and it makes you obsessed with a career, obsessed with money, obsessed with stability, very passionate and ambitious. And that's why this is a big deal with um, Pluto in the 10th house. Yeah. Also, with Pluto in the 10th house, there's also abusive power there's a theme of abusive power um you know people kind of taking control over you and in a very management way 10th house deals with management and a lot of times in the themes of 10th house you know you want to be the boss you know be on top that's how you get on top of your career you become the ceo you become the manager but with pluto here there's a lot of pressure okay pluto's intense and it's putting you through obstacles. 10th house is already an obstacle. But when you put Pluto here, you put those power struggles and those themes, okay? Those themes that get you emotional and angry. Um, there's a lot of power and abuse of power. 
you know, you know, a lot of people taking power over you, you know, taking your money, um, billing you, giving you debt, controlling, you know, your resources, you know, your stability, you know, just lots of that power that's over you, people managing you. Maybe you go into work and you see lots of power in terms of management and managing your life. You know, people trying to structure your life and take power over that. So that thing can be very big too, and it can flip too, you know, this can honestly you can transform this and this can make you want to take control and be a manager that's why a lot of people with this placement need to be in powerful positions because that is the more positive uh, manifestation of this but if you don't transform this you could deal with lots of power and abuse over you and then you could become very abusive and power over people so abusing your power with other people also, with Pluto in the 10th house, speaking of power, power in your career is a huge theme with this too as well too. With Pluto in your 10th house, it's definitely important to be in positions of power, okay, when you're stepping into your career. Okay, like I said, you're going to deal with a lot of people having power over you or using their power and abusing their power over you. And a lot of this is to motivate you to take back your power, take back your power, take back your control. So... Like I said, with Pluto in the 10th house, it's best for you to be in positions of power, okay? When you get into work, you should be, you know, working your way to be a manager or going for management roles or being in positions where you have control because of the opposite experience that you're going to experience. If not, you're going to be put in a position where people are taking power over you. And this is a karmic, karmic situation because it's teaching you lessons about control about power about authority and when people take this away from you it's only going to motivate you to take that back okay so with pluto in the 10th house i definitely definitely suggest you to focus on control and power and not in an abusive way but make sure that you are taking your power back and it's best for this placement to be in positions of power um especially because of the abuse that they could have um, experienced um, with this placement. Also, with Pluto in the 10th house, there's a strong resilience, okay? Strong resilience and power when it comes to your career. People with this placement are very resilient in their career. They can keep going on and on. And this is because the 10th house, of course, rules your career. So it deals with your career, but Pluto deals with passion and, and being very focused, okay? Pluto's a very passionate very high energy, lots of emotions. So when it comes to your career, you have all that energy. You have lots of passion, lots of emotions for your career. So it gives you lots of resilience and a lot of special focus on whatever you want. So a lot of times I say with Pluto in the 10th house, these people have lots of resilience, have lots of potential to be very successful in their careers because of the passion and the focus that they have, okay? And, and that, that focus that they have. Um, they're very determined, they're very resilient, and they can keep going and going and going until they get what they want. That is the passion. And it's such a good placement for the 10th house because the 10th house calls for discipline. You know, it's your career and you have to work hard for your career. So your career calls for lots of focus, lots of energy. And to have Pluto here is really going to help you out. I say it's a really good placement not only just to be in a position of power in your career, but just to gain your career because of the amount of focus and passion and intention you have, okay? People with this can obsess with their career. Pluto, 10th house people can obsess with their career and they can really just be so resilient and, and so focused on it. So these people tend to be very successful in this area, like this 10th house, you know? It's a very positive thing with Pluto and 10th house people. And of course, again, like I said, with all those powers that are controlling you in your workspace, in your business, it's going to motivate you to take your power back and control your career and have it for yourself. So again, this is a good placement for your career. A lot of people might say Pluto in the 10th house is hard, but I think this is a very good placement for Pluto because Pluto can really focus and, and use all its energy and, and passion to overcome all the obstacles that the 10th house in the career is going to give to you and again like the 10th house can be very draining it can be tiring the amount of work that it calls for so 
when you have that Pluto energy, it keeps you focused, it keeps you on the intention, and it keeps you motivated. So very good placement for your career. These people are very passionate. And again, they could be in very powerful positions and really gain a lot of success in their careers. Also, Pluto in the 10th house is very disciplined in general. Okay, um, this is a very disciplinarian placement because the 10th house is ruled by Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn, the other disciplinarian. And then you have Pluto here in this Capricorn house, you know, discipline is a very very big theme here and this is why these people are can do so well in this placement is because of the amount of discipline they have again the 10th house is the house of discipline but pluto with that energy of disciplining you and making you take your career seriously and making you take your situation seriously and giving you a lot of passion and resilience this is going to make you very disciplined person Pluto and 10th house people, whatever they want to conquer in life, they're going to really want to do it because they have a point to prove and they have all the adrenaline, emotion and discipline to do it. All the focus that you need. So these are very disciplined people. These are people who could really focus well and, and stay, stay set on their goals and plans and whatever that they have to do. So very disciplined placement. And it's a it's a really good position. It's something that people don't even talk about. You know, people can, may look at this placement like it's just sad and dreary. And what they're actually not understanding is that this placement is one of the most resilient placements for the 10th house. The 10th house loves a serious, disciplined attitude like Pluto. That's how things can get done. Because the 10th house isn't glamorous. Okay, you gotta work. And in order to work, you need that discipline. And Pluto gives it that. So very disciplined people and definitely um, a strong point when it comes to this placement. Also with this placement, Pluto in the 10th house, there is lots of potential to make lots of money. Okay, lots of money. So like we talked in the beginning that your structure in life could have been very tr um, traumatic because of the lack of structure or the obstacles you had to deal with with structure. So you, again, Pluto in the 10th house, people can deal with poverty. They can deal with a uh, uh, family and a home dynamic that's not structured doesn't have a lot of support okay they you know they could deal with these practical issues okay that deal with stability but because they're dealing with this issue and it causes them so much trauma again it actually makes them focus on it so much more now, these uh, pluto and tenth house people are the type of people who don't want to be poor, okay? They don't want to be poor. They don't want to deal with inconsistencies and no structure, no stability. They've been traumatized by it too much. It grows a strong passion in them. It's Pluto. Pluto's very emotional, very passionate. They're going to want to gain their power back. So again, just like you can gain a strong career, you could be in very powerful positions in not only your career, but just in society. Um, you can also... That also comes with money too. <laughs> so being in a powerful position, you know, be, you know, being in your career, that comes all with money. And that, again, that's that, you know, going back to that issue with structure and gaining back your power back. So yes, you could have had a, you could have grown up with the lack of stability, but that lack of stability is what causes you to gain it back. And people usually do, and they usually gain it a lot. Like I said, Pluto's passionate. So you, you take that thing away from them. They focus on it so much. They manifest it. They chase it in life. They focus it on life. So stability, money, all these things that were not there, you know, growing up, these people have the ability to get it back. So there's lots of money to be made with this placement, okay? You're not just going to be in any career. You're going to be a career that you're very passionate about, that you have a lot of power and control over, and it's going to put you in a high position, and that's going to make you make lots of money as well too so lots and lots and lots of potential to make lots of money here the only thing i will say though is don't get obsessed with it okay there's a big thing here okay you could get obsessed with making lots of money you could get obsessed with being in powerful positions in your career and your status there could be a strong obsession with it as well too because you're overcompensating or making up for the lack that you've had growing up or the traumas that you've dealt with so then you go into your career and you make it everything. But be careful with that because you could be on the other end of being too materialistic, okay? 
being too much about your power and, and because of that you become abusive you you overdo it okay and you over um define yourself with materialistic things and that stuff yeah. so with Pluto in the 10th house you can choose careers that are kind of taboo or dark-sided you know so going into places going into fields like criminal justice dealing with crimes and being a detective and going in dealing with you know taboo situations and you know crimes and and, and, and different type of things that are considered taboo or criminal activity going into these fields um are definitely could be an interest with pluto and 10th house people okay pluto and 10th house people love the shadow side they love the dark side um or and, and those are the themes that pluto come with so that could be a theme in your career you know you know you could definitely be a detective uh, you could go into criminal investigation um, they, you can even go into therapy, dealing with people's dark emotions. Um, you could get into sex work as well, too, with Pluto in the 10th house. Um, so all the themes that deal with taboo, the dark side, um, things that, you know, um, those types of stuff. Even like a creepy type of career. Maybe you deal with the dead. Maybe you, you bury people. I, I mean, whatever it is, you know, dealing with death, sex, those types of themes in, the, in Pluto you could definitely have or gravitate to those types of careers, okay? So definitely something to understand. You can even have a very taboo career too, okay? Pluto and 10th house people, they can have a very taboo reputation. Uh, the 10th house is your public reputation. This is how people see you, okay? So having Pluto here, your, pre your reputation could be very taboo. So it could be because of what you do. Maybe you, you get into... Maybe the career that you you deal with deals with crime, de can deal with sex, can deal with um, dark, shadowy subjects. Maybe you're, a, you're dealing with witchcraft, maybe you're dealing with the occult, you know. Maybe you're dealing with that in your career, things that are hidden. But whatever it is, it's going to be one of those taboo Pluto themes. And because it's in the 10th house, this is how people are seeing you, this is what people know know you know you as what you do um you can have just a reputation of being very very taboo um so definitely something to understand but pulling tenth house people like that they want to be taken seriously um and even be intimidating okay you can even have an intimidating reputation okay <laughs> you know but whatever it is um you're still going to be in power anyway you can also have a traumatic reputation okay so with pulling the tenth house being this dark energy, you can also be seen as a bad guy, okay? So definitely be careful with that too because depending on the activity that you're evolving in yourself, okay, you know, you can get into a career that's illegal, okay? That's not legal, okay? You could be doing illegal stuff, doing criminal stuff, um, being part of a business that it is um breaking the laws okay maybe your business is scamming people okay maybe your business is a scam okay maybe your business is illegal maybe the things that you're practicing in your business aren't legal you know whatever and people find out of course because it's what you're known for doing to reputation so now you have a reputation as being taboo so you could be known as the bad guy as well too um so definitely something to be mindful of also you can have a very transformative reputation Pluto is the transformer, okay? It's all about transforming and leveling up, okay? Pluto takes, attacks a certain area in your life that you're supposed to have power over. So it takes all those things away so that you can take it back. So there's lots of changes, like you change as a person. So dealing with this is the 10th house, you can have lots of transformations within your career. So maybe you started off as one way and then you completely change and transform you know your career and you do something completely different okay maybe you were a sex worker and because of the trauma of that you ended it and transformed and now you're healing people and teaching people about sex work and how dangerous it could be whatever it is um but there's lots of transformations it could be in your career and what you do and it can also even be in your look maybe you transform the way you look your your changes okay um it could, I could even say even plastic surgery, you know, weight loss, dramatic weight loss is like lots of transformations and changes, whether it be your look in terms of your reputation or just what you do in your career. So definitely be mindful of that. And it could be for the better or for the worse, but 
Transformations are definitely a very big theme here, and you're supposed to transform your career, which is very exciting about Pluto in the 10th house because you can really level up and keep building and building and building and building your career because of the amount of changes that you can do. Um, you could just keep leveling up and that's amazing for the 10th house because you can keep building it and building this mountain and making it bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like no limitations. So transformations are big ways to level up and change the game. Um, that's a big theme with Pluto in the 10th house. Also, Pluto in the 12th house, um, Pluto 12th house. With Pluto in the 10th house, you can also have a sexual reputation. Okay, so again, Pluto ruling sexual energy. This could just definitely be your reputation. People can see you attractive in that way. You could be alluring in that way. Um, mysterious in that way. Taboo in a sexual way. But definitely a sexual reputation. And it all falls under the categories of, you know, taboo and Pluto energy. Um, but I like to point that out because people love to talk about it. <laughs> So yes, that is Pluto in the 10th house, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, Pluto in the 10th house, to me, I really feel like this placement is very powerful. People can miss, um, interpret this placement as something negative, but these people have so much potential to be powerful. These people really do end up in powerful positions in life. These are the people who are the top dogs, okay? And it's because of the trials that they've endured in their lifetime. That's why they're able to handle the 10th house. 10th house is gonna throw so many obstacles against you, but these Pluto 10th houses, they're so used to the instability and the challenges. That's why they have so much endurance. And because so much of their emotions are attached to it, they're so passionate about it. So. Pluto in the 10th house people, I don't care what anybody says. I don't know what other readings you guys had. You, This placement is a very powerful placement. A lot of people in powerful positions. Um, I, I see this placement as people in powerful positions. People who can really take control and power over their life and their career and their stability. You have so much potential to make so much money. Okay, yes, it's a little bit difficult, but you can handle the difficultness because you're a Pluto 10th house person. You understand this. So you're the most, you're really built to have the resilience to handle this. And that's what the 10th house is all about. 10th house is like a mountain. And in order to climb that mountain, you need more than just energy. You need resilience. You need discipline. You need strategy. And this is what Pluto has, okay? Pluto has that passion, that resilience to go and it's strategic and it's sneaky so it's great for the 10th house you could really come up here and really have a huge successful career just don't be over defined by the materialistic things don't let it over define you and don't abuse it um but yes that's Pluto in the 10th house i hope you guys enjoyed that and if you did again you could book a reading with me i do astrology readings as well as tarot all you have to do is email me at samastralreadings at gmail.com and we could go forward with that, all right? And I'll check you guys out on the next video.